Well, what's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I'll tell you. I moved in my mobile home. I told you about that. I'm happy about it and everything. Uh, but I had a little problem when I moved in. Uh, I was unloading the car and putting stuff in the house, and I looked around there. And they got what they call skirting around these mobile homes, and. Uh, Looked under there and there's some uh, varmint done uh, dug a hole up underneath the mobile home. Now see that could be a problem. It could be a armadillo, it could be a possum or a skunk or something like that. And uh, you don't want to have uh, a skunk up underneath your house. Uh, worst of all you don't want them to die up under there. They get up there and they die sometimes, stuff like that. So I uh, went on down to Tractor Supply and I uh, Got me a couple of traps. Uh, got uh, two for one, $29.95. I got a little trap and a big trap. I said, boy, that's a pretty good deal. And I asked the uh, lady in there, I said, what kind of bait do you use to catch a, a armadillo? I said, that's what I think it is, armadillo. She said, well, she said, uh, I said, you use a fruit or something like that? She said, no. She said, what you need to do, you need to go get some worms, because that's what they eat. You put worms up in a little baggie and poke holes in it and stuff like that. And uh, then I'll come in there and they'll get it. So, all right. So, I took my traps home. I put them both out there, uh, by next to the hole. And uh, waited the night, nothing happened. Waited another night, nothing happened. Waited another hell. Uh, traps have been out there about a week. And... Uh, I still had not caught nothing, so I said, well, shit. I said, I'll just plug up the hole. I'll bear it up the hole. And, uh, and so, uh, sure enough, uh, a day or two, it come back. I dug up under there again. And it was in the, up under the house up again. So, see, the worst thing you want to do is plug them up underneath there and then they die on you. You don't know what's going to happen. So... And then the, if you go crawling up under there and try to confront them, well, it could be a skunk, and skunks is kind of mean sometimes. They got a kind of odor about them. I don't know if you know about that or not, but they stink. Oh, God, yeah. So anyhow, so uh, I said, well, back to square one. So uh, I uh, worked on around there and everything, and... Uh, and uh, tried to catch them, I couldn't catch them, and so I plugged up the dead gum hole another time. And uh, so I uh, wasn't about a day or two, sure enough, that an old vermin come back there and started digging up under there again. But he didn't get all the way under there for something scared him away or whatever. So I uh, I fixed the traps all up. I plugged up the hole real, real good because I know he wasn't up under the house no more. And I uh, put some boards up there and sticked it up and all that kind of stuff. And uh, put them up under there. Put traps all over there and everything. And uh, me and my girlfriend, we was laying up there in the bed the other night. And heard this skitching, scratching, skitching, scratching. She said, that thing's up under the house. Because we thought we'd heard it during the day. And uh, I said, oh, hell. It was like 2 a.m. in the morning. So I got the flashlight. Went on out there and flashed around. Well, by God, he I had me an armadillo in the trap. Holy good day, I got him. And uh, so uh, I went on back to bed and I got up in the morning. Now, see, there's something a lot of you people don't know about old Jim Bob. I can talk to animals theopatically with my brain. And uh, we communicate back and forth, animals and me. And... Uh, so I was talking to the armadillo. I said, well, why are you come, coming around over here? And he said, uh, he said, uh, F you. He said, I was here first. He said, and you come on over here. This is my house. Uh, I got squatter's rights on it. So I said, well, partner. I said, I'm sorry. I, I am going to haul you on off somewhere, but I'm going to take you somewhere pretty nice. So you'll like it and everything like that. So, uh, anyways, I put him up in the car, drove him on up to the river, and uh, there's a nice park there. And uh, I, I took him out there to the river, and I opened up the pen, and he come a wobbling on out of there, and uh, walking on out. And I watched him walk out in the woods, and he uh, turned around after a while, and he tells back, back to me, and he said, F you again, and then he sort of gave me, he said, he's like, you're number one. 
And uh, he went on off into the woods like that. So that's where old Armadillo is. And by the way, I give him a name. I named him Alvin, Alvin Armadillo. That's it, the Jim Bob's out for the day.